We are learning more about the gunman who targeted a community college in Oregon, killing nine people. Investigators uh, recovered an even larger arsenal of weapons. Family and friends are grieving the loss of life, of course, and they are rallying around the survivors struggling through their injuries. Chris Martinez is in Roseburg, Oregon. Investigators searched the apartment that 26-year-old gunman Chris Mercer shared with his mother in Roseburg, Oregon. CBS News has learned he left a note several pages long, suggesting he may have been depressed and angry. This is for an active shooter at UCC. The shooter killed nine people and wounded seven others in a rampage at Umpqua Community College yesterday. Out of those 13 weapons uh, we currently have in custody, six were recovered at the school. Seven were recovered at the shooter's residence. Some of the surviving victims are recovering here at Mercy Medical Center. Three of the most seriously hurt were taken to a hospital in Eugene. There's a GoFundMe page for Chris Mintz, who tried to stop the gunman in his tracks. Tries to block the door to keep the gunman from coming in. Gets shot three times, hits the floor, looks up at the gunman and says, it's my son's birthday today. Gets shot two more times. Cheyenne and Alyssa Clark are friends with a 19-year-old victim who's in surgery a second day for her injuries. She's just told me for the last few years how much she's wanted to go back to college. And she goes back her like first three days and this happens to her. It's just really messed up. Counseling is now being offered for all those affected in the community. In Roseburg, Oregon, Chris Martinez, Local 12 News. The sheriff says plans are in place to reopen the campus early next week. Stay with Local 12 News for continuing coverage of the community college shooting. New at 530, you'll hear from another student at Umqua College and a man who earned worldwide fame when he helped stop a terrorist plot on a train in France. A